I mean, imagine your sea level rising at three or four times at least faster than we've seen rise in the last century. After the northern glaciers reached their maximum extent around 20,000 years ago, the planet started to warm up. But then, something happened. And that something sent the world into a cold snap that lasted about 1,200 years. In a groundbreaking revelation, renowned geologist Randall Carlson, alongside a team of scientists, has unearthed Earth's most ancient secret. The discovery has sent shockwaves through the scientific community, leaving many researchers uneasy about its implications. Carlson's findings challenge fundamental understandings of our planet's history, prompting a re-evaluation of established theories. Could it be that the key to our planet's past lies hidden in plain sight? Join us as we delve into this extraordinary revelation and explore the implications that may reshape our perception of Earth's most ancient mysteries. Younger Dryas and its impact on Earth. The Younger Dryas period, named after the tough Dryas octopetala flower, marks an interesting time in Earth's history. It happened around 12,800 to 11,500 years ago, transitioning from the late Pleistocene to the early Holocene. It wasn't just a time shift, it was a climatic shift that interrupted the gradual warming after the last glacial maximum. The late Pleistocene was the coldest part of the last ice age, setting the stage for a warmer future. However, the younger Dryas brought an unexpected temperature drop, around two to six degrees Celsius in a short time. Imagine the world getting cold again. The meltwater from glaciers flowing into the oceans decreased, sometimes even stopping. About 1,300 years later, there was a sudden resurgence called Meltwater Pulse 1B, showing Earth's ability to quickly shift from cold to warm. The effects weren't just in the North Atlantic, they were global. Evidence of climate change appeared in Asia, South America, and even the Southern Hemisphere, showing how Earth's ecosystems are connected. The cold and dry conditions left a lasting impact on vegetation, ecosystems, and human populations relying on hunting and foraging. Imagine ancient communities facing challenges during this climate turmoil. They had adapted to a warming world, and suddenly, the environment changed. The once fertile hunting grounds became inhospitable, and foraging became harder in harsh conditions. Survival strategies developed over generations were tested as societies dealt with the changing landscape. After the younger Dryas, plants and animals had to either change or move to better places. The tough Dryas octopetala flower, which gave the climactic saga its name, shows how nature can survive and change when things get tough. Some species did well during this time, but others had a hard time. As the younger Dryas ended and the Holocene started, Earth kept going through time, leaving behind a history of unpredictable weather. The younger Dryas, with its sudden changes and worldwide effects, reminds us of the complicated relationship between nature and humans, shaping history in both fascinating and tough ways. The Younger Dryas becomes even more interesting when considering the idea that a comet might have hit Earth. Imagine a space object or pieces of one crashing into Earth in a huge event that sent shockwaves through the air. It wasn't just one hit, but maybe several waves of destruction, releasing energy like many nuclear explosions. After the big space crash, everything went crazy. Huge fires broke out everywhere, burning up lots of forests and grassy areas. These fires were so massive that they made a lasting mark on the planet, known as the infamous Black Matty layer. This dark layer is full of carbon and can be found at many younger Dryas sites, telling a story of destruction and big changes in nature. The black matte layer, looking all dark and scary, is covered in soot, showing how intense the fires were. There was so much soot that it suggests these were not normal fires, but huge ones that affected the whole world, or at least a big part of it. The world was on fire, turning landscapes into fiery scenes right before a massive flood hit. The charcoal and soot found in the Earth's records match up perfectly with this time, giving strong proof that there was a lot of burning going on. Yet, 
As the story unfolds, challenges and disagreements arise, adding a layer of difficulty to the tale. The sparkling trail of nanodiamonds in our history. Supporters of the idea that a comet caused significant changes on Earth point to interesting scientific clues. Tiny particles like microspherules and nanodiamonds, usually created during powerful impacts, appear in the Earth's history like breadcrumbs, suggesting a collision with a celestial body. Higher amounts of uncommon elements like iridium and platinum also support this idea, forming a unique signature in the layers of the Earth. However, there are challenges and disagreements with the comet impact theory. One major issue is the lack of a clear impact crater, a typical sign of such catastrophic events. Those in favor of the theory argue that the comet may have broken apart in the atmosphere or hit an ice sheet, leaving no traditional crater. The mysteries of space aren't always straightforward, and the absence of a definitive crater adds an extra layer of intrigue. Critics of the comet impact theory propose other explanations for the climate changes during the younger Dryas period. Some suggest shifts in ocean currents while others point to volcanic activity as a possible cause. The debate continues as a clash of ideas, since the evidence for a comet impact, though compelling, isn't universally accepted. The younger Dryas, marked by its mysterious dark layer and the potential aftermath of a celestial collision, stands as a field of scientific investigation. It encourages us to delve into the unknowns of our planet's history challenging our understanding of the forces that shaped our world. While debates persist, the comet impact hypothesis adds an interesting chapter to the Earth's story, leaving us to ponder the cosmic forces that once shaped the landscapes of our ancient past. The younger Dryas impact hypothesis goes beyond regular scientific discussions and enters the realms of mystery, awe, and cosmic drama. This intriguing story weaves together geological puzzles and climatic disasters, creating a fascinating narrative that spans continents. At the core of this idea is a remarkable collection of geological clues that capture the imagination. Tiny yet powerful nanodiamonds formed under intense pressure have left a sparkling mark across North America, Europe, and parts of Asia. Found in sediment layers from the Younger Dryas period, these celestial gems suggest a high-energy event that had a global impact. The cosmic performance that unfolded seems to have scattered these diamonds widely, creating a trail of wonder across ancient landscapes. Another mysterious element in this celestial drama is microspherules, which appear in sediment layers marking the Younger Dryas boundary. These small, round particles, often linked to extraterrestrial impacts or volcanic eruptions, vividly depict a massive impact event. Their concentrated presence in these layers serves as cosmic clues, guiding researchers toward the center of an ancient cosmic collision. Adding to the big space mystery are materials like iridium. On Earth, iridium is rare, but it's often found with meteorites. Magnetic grains with iridium were found in layers of dirt, making the space connection even stronger. The discovery of soot and layers rich in carbon also points to widespread burning. Wildfires, triggered by the space crash, made their mark and added to the disastrous event that happened during the Younger Dryas. There are also these special hexagonal diamonds made by the impact's extreme force. They're not like the diamonds we know from natural processes. These diamonds remind us of the strong space powers that shaped our planet's history. The material from the impact, found close to when many big animals disappeared 12,900 years ago, has iron oxide spherules in a glassy iron silica mix. This strange mix hints at a possible meteorite impact, a big space event that changed Earth. And then, there are the Carolina Bays, oval holes along the U.S. Atlantic seaboard. We're not sure where they came from, and it's a big space puzzle waiting to be solved. Some bold thinkers say these bays might be craters, left behind by pieces of a comet after a crash. The arrangement of these oval holes makes a map in the sky, 
showing a comet's path from the northwest and leaving a space mark on Earth. Could it be that the impact, with its dramatic consequences, holds the key to unlocking the mysteries of the past? How a cosmic event altered human history. Envision a scenario, a collision in space, a celestial dance thrusting Earth into a series of extraordinary events. The expected impact of a comet, a celestial object zooming through space, promises a remarkable event surpassing everyday stories. The dramatic impact unfolds like an elaborate performance, a mix of destruction and renewal. As the comet collides with Earth, it releases chaos, propelling dust and particles high into the atmosphere, creating a cosmic curtain that darkens the planet. This celestial aftermath spreads globally, influencing the atmosphere and interacting with sunlight. The once penetrating sunlight is now blocked, causing a sudden and unusual drop in temperatures. Picture Earth as a canvas painted with the brush strokes of climate change. Climate models and data from Greenland and Antarctica provide a glimpse into this catastrophic event. The sharp temperature decline resonates through time. In the Northern Hemisphere, the impact leads to temperature drops ranging from 3 to 11 degrees Celsius in various regions. The cosmic drama extends beyond the atmosphere, reaching the depths of the oceans and disrupting major currents. The ocean's intricate dance of currents experiences a disturbance, intensifying the cooling effect. The North Atlantic undergoes a frigid transformation during the transition from the Pleistocene epoch to the Holocene. Imagine the North American landscape during this cosmic event. The Younger Dryas period, marked by climatic turmoil, unfolds like a tragic act. Large mammal species, including woolly mammoths and saber-toothed cats, face extinction. Skeptics may question, but supporters of the Younger Dryas impact hypothesis argue for a cosmic link. They claim the comet impact triggered a series of ecological disruptions, leading to wildfires, climate change, and disruptions in the food chain. In this cosmic drama, large species of a bygone era found themselves unable to adapt to sudden changes, ultimately leading to their demise. Around 12,000 to 13,000 years ago, something really big happened on Earth that changed the way things worked for both the environment and people. This event marked the end of the Ice Age, and surprisingly, almost half of the big animal species disappeared all of a sudden. Scientists have different ideas about why this happened, with one idea being that something from space, like a comet or asteroid, crashed into Earth and messed up everything. But not everyone agrees, and some think that humans hunting too much might have been the main reason for the big animals dying out. The proof of these events is in the fossils of the extinct animals that suddenly appeared in the ground. But this impact idea doesn't just affect the big animals. It also has a connection to the early people of the Clovis culture. These folks lived in North America around the same time as the Ice Age ended. Researchers noticed a link between the disappearance or change of the Clovis culture and a period called the Younger Dryas. This connection suggests that the space crash might have messed up the lives of the Clovis people. The quick change to colder and drier weather during the Younger Dryas would have made it harder for them to find food and resources. The problems with the big animals, which were crucial for the Clovis people, would have added to these challenges, making them have to change or die. The things left behind by ancient people, like tools and the way they lived, tell us how they adapted after the Younger Dryas. We can see that they changed their tools and how they got food, showing that they figured out new ways to live in a very different world. This shows how smart and tough these ancient people were as they dealt with the big changes that happened. And now, as we shift gears, let's explore Randall Carlson's vision, a unique perspective that challenges the standard narrative of gradual climate change. Randall Carlson's Revolutionary Vision In his study of Earth's climate history, Carlson goes beyond the usual story, pointing out interesting events that go against the idea that climate changes happen slowly. 
One of these interesting periods is the Younger Dryas, a roller coaster of climate that quickly went from warm to almost freezing. Carlson questions the common idea that climate changes gradually, suggesting instead that the climate system is dynamic and might not be very stable. Looking at old climate records, Carlson finds unusual things like the bowling alarod warming before the younger dryas. These times show fast climate changes, challenging the idea that changes happen smoothly. Carlson's careful analysis aims to understand how sensitive and resilient Earth's climate system is. One of Carlson's interesting ideas goes beyond Earth, suggesting that comets and asteroids hitting Earth might have had a bigger impact on our history than we thought. He thinks these collisions could have caused ice ages and sudden climate changes, maybe even leading to mass extinctions. This idea broadens our understanding of how Earth is connected to the universe. Focusing on the younger Dryas, Carlson agrees with those who believe that a space event caused the sudden climate change. He uses evidence from rocks and ice to support this idea. Ice cores from Greenland and Antarctica show layers that match quick changes in temperature and air during the Younger Dryas. A crucial part of Carlson's argument is looking at layers of sediment, especially those with a lot of iridium, a material linked to space objects. This supports the idea that space collisions were a big part of Earth's climate history. Also, finding special diamonds in the Younger Dryas sediments backs up the theory of a space impact. The Younger Dryas, which lasted about 12.9 thousand days, become a story for Carlson to tell about Earth's intriguing past. Layers of sediment, spikes in iridium, and diamonds are all clues in the mystery of Earth's climate history. The story weaves together different pieces into an interesting picture, challenging experts to think about the connection between space and Earth. As Carlson and others go beyond the usual ideas in climate science, the impact hypothesis becomes a fascinating new way of thinking. The interaction between Earth and objects from space is a powerful force shaping the future of our planet. Randall Carlson's theory challenges the usual story of human history, suggesting that advanced civilizations existed much earlier than commonly believed, possibly flourishing even before the last ice age about 11,700 years ago. This unconventional idea questions the mainstream belief that attributes the rise of civilizations to later periods, like the Sumerian and ancient Egyptian cultures around 6,000 years ago. Carlson goes beyond just technological advancements, imagining these ancient societies possessing advanced technology as well as deep spiritual understanding and wisdom. He envisions prehistoric cultures with capabilities surpassing our typical view of ancient times, including advanced architecture, astronomy, and other sciences. This challenges our understanding of human progress. At the core of Carlson's argument are the ancient structures scattered globally, such as the pyramids of Egypt and Stonehenge. He contends that the precision in their construction, astronomical alignments, and engineering skills suggest a higher level of knowledge than mainstream archaeology acknowledges. For instance, the Giza Pyramid Complex aligns precisely with the stars in the constellation Orion, while Stonehenge's alignment with solstices hints at advanced celestial understanding. Carlson also proposes the possibility that these advanced civilizations face downfall due to catastrophic events like comet impacts or natural disasters, leading to a loss of both knowledge and technology. This, he theorizes, could explain the sudden disappearance of these advanced societies from historical records. To support his claims, Carlson explores mythology, religious texts, and ancient symbols, suggesting that remnants of lost knowledge may be hidden within these cultural artifacts. His multidisciplinary approach adds intrigue and complexity to the theory, urging researchers to investigate connections between seemingly unrelated elements in our cultural heritage. Meanwhile, another pioneer in the field of ancient mysteries emerges, Graham Hancock. Graham Hancock's Global Pyramid Connection Theory. 
Graham Hancock explores ancient mysteries, challenging traditional archaeological views. Inspired by Carlson's idea that ancient stories may symbolize real events, Hancock presents the Global Pyramid Connection Theory. This daring theory links pyramids worldwide, from Egypt to the Mayans, Aztecs, China, and Indonesia. Hancock suggests a shared thread of knowledge, either from a single advanced civilization or cross-cultural influence. Pyramids, like cultural fingerprints, showcase unique beliefs. In Egypt, they have stood as enduring monuments since 2700 BCE, demonstrating advanced engineering. Mesoamerican pyramids endured until 900 CE, revealing adaptability across cultures. Hancock's exploration sparks dialogue on the human mind's development, challenging the dismissal of ancient civilizations' powers. He suggests the pyramids contain profound knowledge beyond our understanding. The theory prompts questions about advanced civilizations choosing simplicity, challenging the linear narrative of progress. Hancock delves into shamanism, proposing spiritual roots for civilizations connected to Earth's mysteries. The pyramids, he argues, aren't just architectural marvels, but vessels of ancient wisdom, symbolic conduits to knowledge beyond material pursuits. Graham Hancock is interested in old structures, not just the pyramids and big stones, but the remarkable engineering inside them. The Great Pyramid is a perfect example of how smart and skilled its builders were. The way they put the stones together, so precise and without using much mortar, is still a mystery today. It's impressive how well they did it, especially considering the time they lived in. Even modern architects and engineers find it hard to believe. These buildings get even more remarkable when you think about the huge blocks of stone they used, some of them weighing a lot. The size and weight of these blocks make us wonder if the people back then were way smarter about building things than we thought. It makes us question if they were just really good at building or if they had help from outside sources that gave them knowledge beyond what others had at the time. Graham Hancock's ideas are different from what most experts say. He suggests there might have been a very smart ancient civilization more than 10,000 years ago. This challenges what we usually think about how humans got smarter over time. According to Hancock, these ancient builders weren't limited by the technology of their time. Instead, they were part of a really smart and advanced culture. The idea of an advanced ancient civilization adds an interesting layer to the mystery of these structures. Hancock's theory presents a clear picture of a society that, compared to what we usually think of in history, was way ahead of its time. This civilization didn't just build monuments. It suggests they had a deep understanding of science, math, and architecture that challenged what we thought about the past. In Graham Hancock's exploration, the story of an advanced ancient civilization challenges the timelines we've accepted for human history. According to Hancock, this civilization, excelling in astronomy, engineering, and math, existed much earlier than societies like Sumer and ancient Egypt, going back over 10,000 years. At the center of Hancock's theory is the remarkable precision in the alignment of ancient structures. The Great Pyramid of Giza, usually seen as a huge tomb, goes beyond that interpretation. Instead, it serves as evidence of advanced astronomical knowledge, with its sides perfectly matching the cardinal points. This intentional alignment suggests a civilization deeply familiar with celestial movements, challenging the idea that such sophistication only developed in later societies. Another impressive ancient building that shows smart engineering is the Pyramid of Kukulcan at Chichen Itza, also called El Castillo. During certain times, sunlight and shadows make it look like a snake is moving down the steps. This not only shows great engineering, but also a good understanding of the sky, connecting architecture and astronomy. Hancock has an interesting idea called the Orion Correlation Theory, made with Robert Boval. It suggests that the arrangement of the three pyramids of Giza matches the three stars in Orion's belt. Hancock argues that this deliberate alignment isn't random, 
It reveals an advanced understanding of the sky in the very design of these structures. It suggests that civilization isn't just starting, but is a comeback, a rediscovery of knowledge from long before we think civilization began. To find the source of this deep knowledge, Hancock and others explore ancient sites like Gobekli Tepe in Turkey from around 10,000 BC. These sites are not simple. They show advanced planning and align with stars. The complexity challenges our ideas about early humans, suggesting they were smarter and more scientific than we usually think when civilization supposedly started. Now, as we delve into the next phase of Hancock's investigation, the focus shifts to the possibility of extraterrestrial influence on Earth's past. Extraterrestrial architects of Earth's past. Graham Hancock's investigation into the secrets of ancient civilizations takes an interesting turn when he brings ancient maps into the discussion. This adds a new layer of complexity to his ideas. One noteworthy map he focuses on is the Piri Rice map, which, according to Hancock, shows a surprisingly advanced understanding of geography for its presumed time of creation. The detailed and accurate depiction of this old map challenges our usual expectations, making Hancock question the traditional timeline of human knowledge and navigation. However, even the most advanced civilizations have their downfall, and Hancock's theory is no different. He explores the idea of catastrophic events, suggesting the possibility of a comet impact around 10,500 BC that could have led to the decline of this advanced society. In Hancock's story, this disastrous event scatters survivors worldwide, and these individuals become carriers of the advanced knowledge from their ancient civilization. As they interact with emerging societies, they share their wisdom, influencing the course of human development. Adding another layer of complexity to Hancock's theory is the consideration of the ancient Anunnaki, a concept popularized by Zechariah Sitchin. Sitchin's ideas have sparked discussions in scientific and alternative history circles. According to him, the Anunnaki weren't just gods from Mesopotamian stories. They were beings from another world called Nibiru. Sitchin claims that Nibiru orbits our sun every 3,600 years, occasionally coming close to Earth and significantly influencing our history. Despite sounding like science fiction, Sitchin's narrative is based on his interpretations of ancient Sumerian and Mesopotamian texts. He sees these texts as historical records rather than just mythical stories, grounding his ideas in what he sees as evidence in ancient writings. Sitchin suggests that the Anunnaki visited Earth to extract resources, particularly gold, needed to fix their home planet's atmosphere. However, he argues that their impact on Earth goes beyond a simple quest for interstellar gold. Sitchin suggests that the Anunnaki use their advanced technology and knowledge to help build many impressive structures in the ancient world. From the Egyptian pyramids to Mesopotamia's ziggurats, these extraterrestrial beings are said to have played a crucial role in shaping the architecture of ancient civilizations. Interestingly, Zechariah Sitchin's controversial theory on the Anunnaki and genetic engineering sparks curiosity about our cosmic origins. Exploring the cosmic beginnings, Sitchin proposed that the mysterious Anunnaki conducted an otherworldly experiment by combining their celestial DNA with that of Earth's early humans. According to him, this collaboration led to a significant advancement in human evolution, propelling us into the era of advanced civilizations. In addition to constructing impressive buildings, Sitchin had a vision of the Anunnaki as a space mentor. They not only built remarkable monuments, but also shared significant knowledge. Sitchin believed that these extraterrestrial beings gave our ancestors valuable information and skills, playing a vital role in the growth of ancient societies. This new way of thinking changes how we see human history suggesting that an intergalactic influence shaped our major milestones. Sitchin's ideas suggest that the development of human societies is like a woven fabric with threads from extraterrestrial sources. As we explore ancient ruins that hint at possible extraterrestrial involvement, the connection between the Anunnaki and humanity becomes clear 
at sites like Gobekli Tepe, where advanced knowledge seemingly appeared mysteriously. Fascinating star-crossed structures. The fascinating story of alternative history involves imagining different possibilities and one intriguing tale captures our imagination. The connection between the Anunnaki, ancient gods from Mesopotamian stories, and the building of Earth's massive structures. Going beyond traditional history, supporters of this idea don't see the Anunnaki as just myths, but as advanced aliens. According to this theory, their supposed arrival on Earth led to the creation of impressive constructions that still puzzle scholars and fans today. Supporters of the Anunnaki theory believe that these otherworldly beings had exceptional skills in technology and engineering, surpassing those of early humans. According to this viewpoint, their advanced knowledge was crucial in building remarkable structures found worldwide. Examples include the Egyptian pyramids, the mysterious Stonehenge, the monumental Moai statues on Easter Island, and towering pyramids in Mesoamerica. These constructions, with their intricate designs and massive stones, challenge our understanding of what ancient civilizations were thought capable of, suggesting potential help from the Anunnaki. One remarkable aspect of these old buildings is how carefully they line up with the stars and planets. For example, Stonehenge mirrors the sun's movements closely during certain times of the year, like the longest and shortest days. Other structures, far apart from each other, also show connections to the stars, hinting at a shared knowledge or influence. The way these big, ancient structures line up with the sky makes some people think that the Anunnaki not only helped ancient builders, but also shared wisdom about the stars that went beyond different cultures. Examining this theory more closely, supporters investigate when the Anunnaki supposedly came to Earth. Some suggest that their arrival happened around the same time as significant disasters like floods or environmental crises. This specific timing is viewed either as a helpful effort to aid in Earth's recovery or as a deliberate effort to take advantage of resources when humans are facing challenges. The theory becomes more convincing as it matches up with stories from ancient mythologies across the globe, where legends of celestial beings descending to Earth during crises mirror the reported actions of the Anunnaki. Some thinkers boldly suggest that ancient stories, like the biblical tale of Noah's Flood and the Mesopotamian epic of Gilgamesh, might not just be symbolic stories, but actual records of real events. They point to the widespread presence of flood myths in various cultures as potential proof of a global catastrophe linked to the arrival of the Anunnaki. According to this view, these stories aren't just imagination, but could be historical events witnessed and documented by ancient civilizations. Despite its appeal to those intrigued by ancient mysteries and extraterrestrial ideas, the Anunnaki theory is not widely accepted in mainstream historical and archaeological discussions. The lack of concrete evidence and the speculative nature of interpretations place this theory in the realm of alternative history rather than fact. Share your insights and theories in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more mind-blowing revelations.